Durham is an innovative tool that enables developers to effortlessly manage and load custom environments tailored to specific projects. Compatible with many shells, it offers a seamless and straightforward setup process. Let's get started. Durham searches for two crucial files within a project directory, specifically mvrc and env. Of the two, the former file holds higher significance. Once authorized, Durham creates and injects the environment specified in mvrc into your active shell session. Durham is fast and nearly unnoticeable when switching project directories. It's flexible. Being language agnostic, it can fit into almost any project. Install Durham using your package manager and add it to your shell configuration. To reduce output when using Durham, set Durham log format to an empty string in your shell config. Inside of a project, create an mvrc file. Let's define an environment variable called foo and make it equal hello world. In order to actually use an mvrc file, we need to have Durham approve its content. Before loading the environment, foo equals nothing. Then when we load in, you'll notice foo now equals hello world. Let's look at combining Durham with the power of Nix. Nix Durham is a simple add-on that allows Durham to load a shell or flake environment. It caches the environment so subsequent loads are faster. It also prevents Nix from automatically garbage collecting your environment. There are many ways to install Nix Durham specified on their GitHub page, so I've linked it in the description. Using Nix Durham is simple. If you have a shell.nix or default.nix file, just put use nix into your mvrc. If your shell file is named something else, then put the file name after use nix. If you use flakes in your projects, all you have to do is put use flake in your mvrc. Most mainstream editors have a plugin to load your environment automatically. If you like what I do and would like to support me, please check out my Kofi page, link in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments or join our Discord community. Thanks for watching!